Today I'd like to discuss with you guys just a little bit about what intravenous therapy is. And so with that being said, what I'll go over very quickly is why do we use it? Uh, what are some of the advantages to that? How do we tailor it to our patients? And what are the ways that we can safely and effectively deliver this modality in a way that ensures the greatest outcome? So with that being said, the reasons for which we would ideally choose IV therapy is that for most of our patients when they're coming in here, they're dealing with a myriad of disturbances and more often than not, many of these stem from the gut. And so as a result, we can pretty much assume that to some extent, the assimilation and the absorption of nutrients is going to be compromised, which means you could be taking the best supplements out there, you could be taking them religiously and daily, but to what extent are you actually absorbing them? And then if you are absorbing them, are you absorbing enough to get a therapeutic benefit? If not, and even if that's a question at all, this is where IV therapy comes into play. One of the advantages to IV therapy is that because it goes straight into the circulation, it bypasses the entire gastrointestinal system. So as a result, we have the immediate source of nutrients that is bioavailable and through that particular form of administration allows us to deliver higher dosages provided that they're safely supervised as it's happening at that time. And so when we have a patient sitting before us, the way that we would go about this process is that first we want to assess for any history of adverse reactions to any drug whatsoever. If they've had anything and there's been an adverse reaction, it's important that we know that. Or currently, if they have any drug reactions, we know that as well. Once we've assessed that, then we'll go ahead and take into consideration any kind of blood work we have, their clinical presentation, as well as their genetic makeup or their profile in this case that we would be using from Health Coach 7. Depending on those SNPs and gene variants that present themselves, primarily and conceptually, what we would probably want to be doing is addressing methylation as well as metabolic disturbances. And so we would put together a pretty individualized recipe for them to address that. And then what's really exciting to see is that within a short amount of time, because the increase in bioavailability and the immediate access within to the circulation into their system, we see some pretty amazing results. Some of the initial things that people will present with is they'll notice right away their sleep quality may be better, their energy may be better, their appetite may be better, but overall, it's better. There's an improvement. In one aspect or another, there may have been a deficiency, and through the form of intravenous therapy, we're able to correct that deficiency. And so one of the ways that we would go about this process is that first and foremost, to really ensure that this is a comfortable process for them, we have this really incredible tool here called a vein finder. And so what we would do is we would allow this light to illuminate, as you can see on my arm, where the vessels lie. And so one of the great things about this is that whether or not their body composition is mine or anything else, we have this really amazing tool to help us indicate exactly where their vessels lie. And so once we find that vein, this is where we're going to be administering the nutrients and things of that nature. Typically, more often than not, they're going to be in this bag. And so they'll be in a really comfortable IV suite that we have, nice flat screen TV, people talking, chatting, having a good time, and they're just kicking back, feeling comfortable, getting a great source of medicine, and typically a whole session can last anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and a half. During that time, we'll come in there, we'll chat with them, we'll talk with them, just see what else is going on in their life, just connect with them. And more often than not, it's just great to make their acquaintance and check in and see how things are going. Other than that, uh, I don't know what else to say, but if you guys have any other questions, please feel free to post them and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Once again, this is Dr. Jeff Thomas and I thank you for your time.